Good evening. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, episode 40. I can't even believe it. What a milestone, right? Episode 40 already. Absolutely insane. Welcome back to Cousin Drew's Cooking Show, episode 40. Tonight we're doing a French onion grilled cheese with a delicious roasted carrot jalapeno soup. Uh, perfect for the weather. Um, I was going to be doing a grilling stream on Wednesday, but unfortunately the weather was shit all day. Still is. Been cloudy as hell all day. Looks like it's going to been like, like it was about to rain all day. But, you know, had to, had to kind of go with the theme. Uh, did get to do the grilling stream, so I'm going to wait till another sunny day. Hopefully this next week we get a couple sunny days and we'll get the grilling stream in then. Um, but we had to, you know, do a dish to kind of fit the weather and what else fits rainy weather better than a grilled cheese and soup, right? You know what I'm saying? What's up, Ma? What's up, Pop? Al? Taylor? Dilly D? What's going on, everybody? Kaylee, I see you in there, babe. I know you're waiting for your food. Episode 40 already. Can you guys believe it? Absolutely unbelievable. So crazy. So crazy. Episode 40. Still trips me out. I was typing it in earlier when I was doing my all my stuff and I was like, holy cow. Um... Chef Life 33, thank you very much for the follow. I'm gonna run and resend that. That happened off stream. Um, Taylor, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate it very much, brother. Let's go ahead and throw that up there as well. And then we also had my boy, my cousin. Hey, what's up, handsome? Come in, Dilly D coming through with a five month reset. Thank you so much, Dilly. I appreciate it so so much. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say it enough. Thank you. So this is what we got going on tonight. We got some uh, some delicious, fresh-baked uh, sourdough bread I picked up today. Really, really good sourdough. Some really big pieces of bread, right, for a nice-sized grilled cheese. Um, we got some applewood smoked Gruyere cheese. Now, I'm not a big Swiss cheese guy, but when it comes to Swiss, Gruyere is you know, my weakness. I love it, I love it, I love it. So we got some Applewood smoked cheese. Uh, we're also gonna be throwing in some Gouda, right? That nice, melty Gouda. I didn't go smoked on the Gouda because we already got the smoky um, Gruyere, right? So we're just gonna get the flavor and the meltiness of the Gouda in there. Nice little mix. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and cook down some onions, right? French onion soup style. Hit it with the wine, hit it with the beef stock, right? Let them absorb that flavor as they caramelize. So we're gonna get that started. We need to get our carrot, and our jalapeno roasted off with a little bit of garlic and onion. Um, that's all gonna be thrown into the soup. So we need to get those started, thrown in the oven, you know what I'm saying? You sourdough? How could you say you sourdough? Good sourdoughs, Jack LeVac. <laughs> I love me some sourdough. It's all right, not everyone likes sourdough. It's all, it's all uh, personal preference here. Um, but I am a sourdough lover, especially when it comes to a grilled cheese, melting down that sourdough with butter on it and that melty cheese, my lord. Hey, what's up, Liz? What's going on, sissy? Well, you bought it for me, you know what I'm saying? All right, so look, this is what we got to get started. We got those onions start cooking down ASAP. We need to get our items roasting off so we can get our soup started ASAP. So since we got to get the, the carrots and the jalapeno to be relatively quick, get in the oven so let's go ahead and do that so how's everybody's Thursday going everyone having a good uh, good day good night good day at work what are you guys eating for dinner tonight what's going on with you guys so we do need to peel these carrots up they got some nasty skin on them we got some jalapeno get some garlic some onion we need to get onion for our uh, for our grilled cheeses as well. Get that garlic. All right. All right. We got just about everything. Sam brought home some Wendy's. Mmm, what'd you get from Wendy's? Pokeland? Yeah, I saw your snap, Ma. Look good. Wish you were here in Monterey with us? Yeah, I wish so too. You guys are going to have so much fun this weekend. So much fun. I'm jealous you guys are out there. Alright, so. Let's go ahead. Let's get our carrots peeled down. Want to get all the bitter, gross skin off the carrot. 
Um, we're going to be roasting these up and then cooking them down, getting them ready to be pureed, right? Got some big old carrots. All right. Junior Baconator, chili cheese baked potato, and some nugs. Ah, the go-to, Alex. Yum. You know, I haven't eaten fast food. You know, okay, I'm, I, I did eat um, maybe five of Kaylee's fries and one of her nuggets from uh, Chick-fil-A last night, which was the first fast food item I've eaten in weeks uh, since I've been kind of at, back at the gym and stuff. God, they were so good. Um, so I haven't been eating fast food a lot lately. Um, but when I do, I sure as hell love me some Wendy's, man. Always will. It's my go one of my go-tos. Love me some Wendy's. Al's going large on his Wendy's order. Al likes to eat. Knows how to eat. All right. So we got our carrots. Shaved up, cleaned up. We're just going to give them a nice light chop. Um, just to kind of help them break down a little bit easier. A little faster. Opposed to leaving them super large. Um, for the roast. So we're going to take off our end. Um, split it. And then. Kind of just give it like a rough chop like I just said, right? So take off the end, We're gonna slice down the center, get it ready for, for the roast. Have you guys ever had a pea soup before in chat, anyone? Or, uh, did I say pea soup? I mean a carrot soup? Carrot soup, sorry. I was thinking of one thing. Set another. Carrot's one of the best, best veggies in the world as far as for you flavor wise, versatility. You know, we use it in Mirpal almost every single episode when we're making a sauce and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's amazing. Let's get some spray. Yeah, tacos are the best. Three dollars of heaven. Yum. Sounds good. All right, so let's get some spray in our sheet tray. Is this a cold soup or hot? This is a hot soup. It's a, a very delicious hot soup. There's gonna be chicken stock, a little cream, our veggies that we're chopping up to throw in there. About to eat a steak at Dad's. Yum. Um, um. Al's missing out. Al's missing out. Be careful when you're splitting the carrot, guys. You don't want your uh, your knife to like kind of slide off. Yeah, that's a gross end. Let's get that off. You want your knife? It, it's kind of hard to get your knife in there. So you want to make sure you uh, you don't let it slide off. Cut yourself. So just be aware when you're doing that. All right. So I'm gonna do the carrots on its own sheet tray, uh, mainly because they're gonna take a little bit longer to break down. All right. So we got our carrots chopped. Chef Doug, what's going on? Can't watch tonight. Work until 2 in the morning. Been here since 9. Uh, no worries, Chef Doug. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, brother. Have a good shift, man. Working you hard over there, brother. Alright. So we're going to hit it with some salt and pep. Make sure the carrots are seasoned up. Right, we're gonna pop these in the oven. 
Got it at 400. Start roasting those off. The jalapeno and onion and garlic are going to be a little shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, I'm going to get the onions chopped for this, but I'm also going to get them chopped for our, uh, for our soup or for our French onions that we're going to cook down. So I'm going to go ahead and get a low heat going for a hot pan. Start warming it up. Let's get our onions chopped up. So we're going to do thin sliced onions, right? Slice them thin. We're going to hit them with a little bit of sugar to help them caramelize a bit faster. I mean, they'll caramelize on their own in fat, but to kind of help the process out a little bit quicker, add a little bit of sugar in there, and you're good to go. I hate Louisville people. That's some late hours. Reminds me of when you worked at the country club with those big hours. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying to, to Kaylee Pops is the other week when Chef Dog wasn't here, she's like, where's Chef Dog? I'm like, I guarantee you. Since you graduated school, they're going to be fully taking advantage of him and working him like a dog, like they did to me. Um, so, you know, I, I was chatting it up with him about that a little bit ago. Even during a rerun last week, we were talking about it. And, you know, he's, he's grinding his ass off right now. So, get that paycheck, get that money, enjoy it while you can. And, uh, you know, after a little bit of time... If it doesn't cool down, then maybe think about moving to another place or talking to your chef about, you know, giving you a little bit more time to, to yourself. So you can only do that for so long, you know what I'm saying? You can only do it for so long before you start to go crazy. So thanks for stopping by again tonight, guys. I can't believe we're already at episode 40. Absolutely insane. Um, some of you guys are hitting me with five-month resubs. Um, shortly to be six month resubs. Uh, it's it's absolutely insane to me. I can't believe we're already here. It's so crazy. All right, so thin sliced onion. Okay. A little bit of onion, or a lot of. Fresh onion is going to turn into a little bit of caramelized onion. Almost like spinach, the way it breaks down and turns into nothing. You'll see. You'll see. What the heck's that? Alright, so let's start with that. We're going to go ahead, hit our pan with some extra virgin. I'm sure there's plenty of oil in there. Skeels, I try, I try. Alright, so we got our chopped onion, let's have that oil heat up. Um, so now we need our onion for the roast. So I'm just going to go in half for the soup, all right? Soup de jour. Let's grab another sheet tray. Go ahead and give that a little spray. Grab an onion, throw it on there. All right, so, we got our hot oil. We got our onion down, wash the hands real quick, give them a little rinse. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit them with salt first, draw out some of the moisture. So we're going to hit them with a couple, couple thick pinches of salt there, okay? I want to make sure they all get coated up in the oil. So we're just going to kind of mix it around. Now they tend to go lower, low, a little bit low and slow on this. So we're going to have it on a lower flame. And we're just going to let them kind of cook down. Start to caramelize up. Uh, I'm going to hit it with a little pep. 
a little garlic powder. Go ahead and kind of mix all the seasonings into the onion a little bit. And lastly, we're going to go ahead and hit it with some sugar. It's really going to help sweeten them up and caramelize. One more little sprinkle of sugar on top. We're good to go on that. Add a little bit more oil. And we're just going to let those literally chill and do their thing. Mine's good. If you couldn't get any more handsome, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Maybe it's just the phone, girl. Turn your brightness down, Missy. All right, so we're going to get a couple onions chopped up here. That should be enough for the soup. I won't even use all that. I got, oh cool, peeled an onion up for no reason. Save that for in that rainy day. Our jalapenos, we'll just leave them whole as they roast. Um, garlic. Get some whole clove garlic on there. So anyone got any uh, good plans for the weekend? Anyone got anything going on? Kind of just, or you guys, you guys working, chilling? What's good with you guys this weekend? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this up. We're gonna season it up real quick, and we're gonna pop it in the oven. Start the roast. Then we gotta cut up some cheese. All right, so we got our jalapeno, we got our onion. We're gonna spray it all. Alright, hit it with that salt. Hit it with pep. Depth of flavor, right? Season it all. Even the garlic. Okay. Going in the oven. Let those babies all roast off. Go ahead and rinse off the knife. I'm gonna wet paper towel, kind of wipe off the cutting board. Got all sorts of onion on there. Clean that off. So our onions are starting to cook down a little bit. kind of are mixing them up, kind of help um, evenly cook all the onions since they're started a lot and it starts to cook down to a little. I want to make sure that they're, uh, they're cooking down pretty evenly. It's important. Alright, so we got to get some cheese out that we're going to be, uh, we're going to be cutting up, getting slices ready for the grilled cheeses. We also got some cilantro and a little bit of Italian parsley we're going to be using tonight. We can go ahead and get those items chopped up shortly as well. Aren't your eyes burning? No, these, my eyes aren't burning right now. Spraying everything, who knew, didn't know you could spray everything, just did it. Well, it's oil. I mean, it's just another way of getting oil onto the item. Having flashbacks of your jalapeno poppers, right? So bomb. Yeah, she sure is. She's up in the room. And G's with the pup, so. Kaylee's in charge tonight of the uh, daisy cam and holding down the, the computers. All right, so here we got some Costello Gouda cheese. 
smells delicious. And then we got our Applewood Smoke Gruyere. Looks bomb. Oh my gosh, smoked cheese dough. Smoked cheese dough. All right. Onions are starting to cook down a little bit. Daisy cam, Daisy cam. All right, all right. Kaylee, go ahead and send the girl out. Come here, puppy. The people demand the girl. Come here, sweet girl. Sit. Jake. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Right now, my goodness, there's a little daisy cam. You gotta at least turn towards the people now. Come on, now. Hey, Cliff Nerds, how you doing tonight? Thanks for stopping by the stream. I appreciate it. Yeah, she is spoiled. She's been a good girl all day, chilling, cuddling. She deserves some snacks. Hey, sit, sit, sit. Come on. I'm gonna get the last of it. Sit down. Sit. Hey, say bye to everybody. Go. Go. No, this way. Come on. Good girl. Go ahead. All right. There's a daisy cam for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this cheese sliced up here. So we got our applewood smoked Gruyere. My mom is a big uh, smoked cheese lover. She always got the bombest smoked cheese at all her little parties. She always gets this good smoked Gouda. So that's where I kind of got my inspiration to do a smoked cheese on this one tonight. It's from a mama. Sounds freaking good though, doesn't it? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right. I'm gonna try this cheese real quick. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. That was a damn, a damn good cheese. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's just check back in with our onions real quick. Now they're really starting to cook down a little bit. See, we went from all that, all that onion down to this, right? So this is just a little part of the cooking process with these onions as they're really gonna cook down. They're really gonna be just a little bit compared to what they were when they started. That's why you gotta start with a lot of onion. A lot, a lot of onion. Cliff Nerds, how you doing tonight, man? Thanks for stopping by, appreciate it. How's your night going so far? All right, let's try to get one more, one more thicker slice out of this. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. All right, so we got some good size slices of cheese there for our smoked applewood smoke. Mmm. Then we got our Gouda, not smoked, our regular old Gouda. We didn't need to overwhelm it with smoke. So we're gonna get some slices of the Gouda. We're gonna taste it real quick. And good, nice and creamy. 
Good. What do you got going on, Cliff Nerds? How was your day? So, Taylor, how's everything going, ma'am? Okay, okay, Dad. Two favorite cheeses? I know, Mama. Excited to watch some cooking in bed? Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Alright, so these are going to start turning very shortly, I can already tell. They're going to start caramelizing soon enough. Let's get a couple more slices of our cheese. A good grilled cheese has a lot of cheese. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cheese. So we'll do that and that. Eat that. Okay. We'll use all that. We'll save these. This cheese is so freaking good. It's smoke right here. If you guys are looking for a good cheese, go to the, uh, in the grocery store, go to like the, by the bakery, that section of cheeses, where they got like the Parmesan and everything like that. That's where we got this smoke boot, this uh, smoke right here. Chef's amazing. See how much the onions are starting to wilt down, All right? It's insane. They're about ready to turn. Let's go ahead and check on our carrot. Our onions starting to cook through. Let's flip our uh, flip our jalapenos over. Kind of toss the onion around. And the garlic as well. Oh, you know what? The garlic's Garlic's about done. Yeah, we can go ahead and get the garlic off there. We got some nice roasted garlic. That needs a little more. We've got our onions going. So what we're going to do for the soup is basically we're going to take our carrots out at some point of the oven and when we take it out of the oven um, we're going to put them in some cream and a little bit of uh, stock and we're going to let them continue to cook into that and then once they're soft enough and ready we're going to puree all that together by adding in our extra ingredients kind of flavoring it up. I hate trying to cut cheese with a knife like that. I tend to use my cheese cutting board on the wire. Yeah absolutely dad. I actually wish I had that thing. I was just thinking about that. Um, yeah, G ain't gonna be here tonight. He's, uh, Duke's not doing good still, so he's spending more time with them. Uh, yeah, no, he, he's getting all our wishes, guys. He wishes he could be here with all of them, you know what I'm saying? But he's, uh, he's gotta take care of his pup tonight. Um, so here's that roasted garlic, right? Nice. Got some good color on it. it smells really good. They're left one piece, uh, with a bigger chunk of garlic in there. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting some 
color. I left the bigger in there because it needed more time. Now we're starting to get our caramelization process. Okay. Now we're talking. So our onions are starting to turn, as you guys can see. Uh, let's go ahead and get our fan on a little higher. So what we're gonna do is run her out. We're gonna get some butter to room temp right over our bread. We'll pop off the uh, cork to our wine. That's gonna get thrown in the onion. We got our Monterey County Pinot Noir, one of my favorite cheaper but mid uh, bottles. So what we're going to take our butter, right, in the microwave in 10 second increments to get it to room temperature. Get our bread ready to get that spread, have that ready to roll. So by doing it in 10 seconds, um, it allows it not all melt at once or one side, it kind of does it evenly. So you do it 10 seconds, you check it, and that's, and that's, the, that's definitely the way to, to melt down your butter a little bit and get it to room temp, easier, more pliable to spread, right? So all that onion is now slowly turned into this, right? I told you, it cooks down a lot. So when you're doing batches of French onion soup, you know how many onions you're throwing in that bad boy? Like we used to cut so many onions for that soup. It's a popular soup. And boy, oh boy, do you go through onion. So I'm going to go ahead and let it go about three times before I even check it. Because I know how... Uh, how cold that butter is. I'll order you one of those cutting boards. That'd be tight, Pops. I've always, I've always liked those little cheese cutting boards. I remember you guys having that. So there's 10 second increments. Let's grab some good slices of bread, some good slice, size slices of our sourdough, a little bit more towards the middle, got some good hunks of bread so we're going to have a good sized sandwich tonight. How many of you guys in chat are sourdough lovers, huh? Ash and Ob just got home, got their hair colored with the color streaks, Ob purple and Ash has blue, Oh, how cute guys. Hi girls, if you're watching, miss you guys. Alright, so, let's check our butter, alright, so it did melt down just a tad bit, but we got it a little bit pliable, Ooh. a little bit more pliable, our onions are really, really, really starting to cook down now, the sugars are starting to really take over as the caramelization process is really starting to happen, as you see that deep gold color in there. Looking great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get some cream, um, heat it up for those carrots. We're going to have to cook those down. So we're going to get some cream, heat it up. Kind of get everything pulled together here. Uh, we need to go ahead and check on our carrots, see how they're doing. Alright, our onions and our jalapeno are looking good. Oh yeah. Right. Carrots. Oh yeah. Getting real nice and tender. 
All right, so we're gonna leave the carrots in up until the the cream gets um, up until the cream is nice and hot, so we can transfer it over and then. All right, we're gonna get our butter spread. on the bread. All right, I like to apply a lot of butter to my grilled cheeses. If you're gonna eat a grilled cheese, you're gonna eat a grilled cheese right. You're not gonna half-ass it, right? You're gonna, you're gonna load that bitch up. Don't have to ask your grilled cheese, all right? Check in, you see the color, right? See that dark gold color we're achieving here? That's what we're looking for. See, they're very close to being uh, hit with the wine and then cooked down with the stock a little bit more. We're gonna let them go a little bit longer. Cream's heating up in the back. Continue to get our butter spread. All right. Butter is applied. Let's get our other two pieces. You can also use mayonnaise, guys, as another option for spread on uh, grilled cheese. If you don't, if you're uh, looking for another delicious way to kind of switch it up, go ahead and apply some mayo to it. Works just as well. Has a nice flavor. Gets the bread nice and toasty, like butter. Okay. Sammy D in the Beal Den. What's going on, brother? All right. Cream is still heating. Onion's still, uh, still going. We want them to get a little bit more gold. Just a little bit. And then they'll be ready to be hit with the, uh, the red wine. And then we'll hit them with the beef stock. And then they'll be ready to uh, be applied. We're going to get this soup cracking in just a second. All right, I'm going to get these carrots out. I'm going to throw them in the heavy cream real quick. Looking great, Drew. Thank you, thank you, Sammy. All right. keep spilling them everywhere. We're going to get the carrots into the cream. Okay. Got a couple that fell down yonder. Grab these. Alright. Alright, so now we're going to cook our carrot in the cream. Splash cream all over my back. It's splash. <laughs> all right. So we got our carrot cooking down into our cream. Our onions are uh, looking really nice right now. All right, we're looking good. Let's go ahead and uh, hit our sweet cooked onions. We're gonna go ahead and uh, grab some wine. Add some red wine. To the onion. And grab a little bit of rosemary, a little fresh rosemary. Add a little depth of flavor to our, our onions. Our 
onions cooking down. You see our carrots in the back infusing that cream really nicely. Hey Mikey, what's going on brother? How you doing man? I got my beef stock ready to rock. We're going to hit our onions with that beef stock, pasito. See that good rich color in the onion? We're going to let that kind of cook down. Into the onion. Boy, oh boy, does that look good, huh? Alright, so we're gonna let that cook down. Mm -hmm. I am gonna grab one of the jalapenos. Let's do it on a separate little cutting board. I'm gonna have it. Nice and hot, right? We're gonna deseed this very shortly once the uh, once it cools down a sec. Slice it open. Let's let it chill for a sec. We got our onions using that flavor in there. We got our carrots cooking down nicely, and our cream. Alright, so we're going to let the carrots infuse the, the cream with the flavor. We're going to let those cook down until they're a little more tender. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get our jalapenos cleaned up in a sec. Get them all ready to rock. Um, so we can clean, have them all cleaned up and ready to go. They'll cool down if I just cut them all in half like that. A lot faster. Be a little bit easier to work with. Let those chill out and wash the knife off. Make sure we get all that heat taken off. And our onion is looking bomb ziggy. It smell like French onion soup right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our other over here, our garlic cloves, and we're going to throw it in the cream. We'll throw a couple of the smaller ones in there. So we're going to infuse some of that roasted garlic flavor in there. Right, we're just building our flavor profiles right now in our soup. You want a glass of wine? There you go, babe. Yeah, let's get a little more. Am I kidding? Here, your wine's sitting right here for when you're ready. Hey, Grumpy, how you doing tonight? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Kaylee, your wine's right here when you're ready. So our liquid is cooked in a lot. 
to our onions. So now I turn the flame down and we're just going to kind of let it chill. Let our carrots go. We've got our onion up there. We're going to add in. Jalapenos are cooling off pretty nicely. I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the trash can real quick, guys, and remove the seeds from the jalapenos. Get some of that extra hot part of the spice out of the way, right, by moving the seeds and gutting them out. We don't need all that all that sp that spice from the seed. We really just want the flavor from the jalapeno and um, the, the spiciness to almost work as a flavor more than an actual like actual spice. You can use spicy items like this and habanero, and you can get like the tanginess from the habanero and the the deep, delicious chili flavor from the jalapeno, and not necessarily, you know, be using it for heat. All right, just about done getting the seeds out, guys. Give me one sec. Go. One more to do. All right. Put those babies out. Check. All right, onions are good. Turn that on heat. And just let it chill out until we need it for the grilled cheeses. time in the cream. Let that go a little bit longer for the soup. Let's go ahead and get our uh, jalapeno up here. So you got the skin, right? I'm going to rip the jalapeno. Adds for filmy texture that isn't really that nice to the palate. So roasted, you can go ahead and kind of peel off that outer skin layer. You'll thank me later for that. If you have jalapeno that's had the skin on, it's it's not, I mean, it's, you're going to be able to digest it and stuff, but I don't like the filminess of that. It's a little a little weird. So to pull it off. Yeah, as much of it as you can, you know. Can't make it, but at least get a little bit off. Jumbaco, what's going on? I'm hungry, making me food. I wish I could, man. How you doing? How you been? Been a minute. Very nice to see you when you're stopping by. How's everything going with you? Alright, alright, alright. Getting these babies all peeled up. I'm, I doubt I'm going to use all this jalapeno in here. Probably won't even use half, but i up for when I use them later. So I'll be able to use them the next time I cook. It's worse in front of the camera and <laughs> uh, you guys cracked me up. So we just need those carrots to become a little bit more tender for the puree part to blend it in soup. So we're just letting that kind of drag on guys. Once that's ready to rot, thing blended together. Um, we're going to let our soup kind of come in together as we, as we grill our grilled cheeses off. Um, so by the time that we done, with the grilled cheeses, the soup should be and will be ready to serve. So just kind of bear with me. Grumpy, how's your day going? Thanks for stopping. Appreciate it. Everything going well with you? All right. So as you see, we got our onions, right, liquefied still. All that flavor right there. Nice. Lock in with our couple cloves of garlic in there. Infusing our cream, or one of our liquid berries. We're going to let that continue. 
continue to cook down a tad, tad bit more. Good, just making that money Thursday thing. I like to hear always good making money. That's for. What'd you have for dinner, Grumpy? All right. So, good. Dice up some. See, I like chunks of the jalapeno in this soup. You bite. I think that's the way to do it. Just nice little things. Giving them nice little julienne slices. I'm returning it. Give it a nice. They almost look like Ortega took down like that. Nothing yet? You haven't eaten yet. Get some dinner in ya. That's a great peanut. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. on a low, 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 low heat. Our carrots should just be about done. Let me grab that fork for the one time. Go ahead and test the tenderness again real quick. Oh yeah. We're looking nice and tender. So okay, there's a couple more chunks. I think I need another another couple minutes. Give me two more minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get another daisy cam. Come here, Daisy. Come here, baby. Get another daisy cam for you guys in the meantime. Say hi to everybody, sweet girl. Oh, you got your ball, honey. Sit down. Hi, big girl. Say hi to everybody again. Sit. There's a little daisy cam for you guys. Good girl. Come on, Bubba's. Come on. Good girl. A little daisy love for you guys. All right, guys. Carrots just about there. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it two more minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and blend it together. All right. I'm gonna get a couple more jalapenos chopped up right quick. Go get your ball, sweetheart. You left it. Now, guys, if you're uh, if you're not into too much spice, uh, you can always go ahead replace the jalapeno with like a poblano, um, or even just add it with it, right? Uh, poblano's got a lot less heat than a jalapeno um, and I recommend go ahead and using that if you're not too big into heat that'll be a nice replacement but it'll have a nice deep smoky chili flavor just like the jalapeno um, so yeah if you're not into heat there's many ways of making this this soup you know not so spicy but still achieving the same kind of flavor profile right I'm gonna rotate my onions, just kind of constantly turning them right. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of kind of get those sprigs of rosemary taken out. Of our onion. Okay. 
Now I like a little bit of the rosemary in my onion, but I just want to make sure there's not too much. A little bit's okay though. I like the nice earthy flavor it adds. That's why I separate them off right there. All right. Let's go ahead and get the soup cracking. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and grab our blender. I'm gonna strain the cream out into a bowl. So I'm going to be using that cream back in as part of the liquid variable, along with the chicken stock. So I'm pouring the cream out into a bowl. Grab our blender. All right, we got our carrots thrown in there with a couple cloves of garlic. We got our infused heavy cream. Go ahead and add a little bit of that in there. <laughs> Food network shit. Oh, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of our onion, a roasted onion. Ugh. A little bit got loose. All right. We're going to go ahead and give this a little bit of a puree, guys. Kind of give you guys an idea of what we're working with here. Okay, so there's not nearly enough liquid in there. That's why I was just kind of getting it started. So we're going to need a lot more liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my chicken stock because chicken stock's a great... Um, flavor to add into soups. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of stock in there. Let's grab our little uh, little spoon. Okay. So we got that all kind of mixed in. All right. Let's give this a little bit of a blend. Still needs more liquid. Give it a kind of like a nice little mix. Yeah, so it's like a really chunky, thick puree right now. So I'm gonna add the rest of that cream, the rest, the, the complete rest of it, the cream in there, that carrot garlic infused cream, right? Really good flavor. And then we're going to add a little bit more stock in there. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what we got going with this. Your cutting board should be coming on Saturday. Thanks, Pops. I appreciate that.
All right, so, sorry I turned the mic down for you guys a little bit. So we got that going. It's a nice thick, thick, thick puree consistency now, right? So we're not quite at our soup consistency. So you can see we got a nice thick puree almost consistency. Let's go ahead and taste it. Oh, the flavor, the flavor, the flavor, baby. That's delicious. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna add a little bit more onion in there. A little bit more of that roasted onion, okay? A little more stock. Let's go ahead and give that a go. All right, all right, all right. So now we got it a little bit more creamy, but I don't think we're quite there. Okay, we're still pretty thick. We got an amazing color on this soup, though. Okay. So it needs more garlic. We're gonna throw a couple cloves of garlic in there. More stock. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some water and grab a little bit of water, throw that in there as well. Let's get this to a nice soupy consistency before we get it transferred back in and on the heat. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Denver, thank you so much for the host, brother. I appreciate it, my man. How you doing tonight? Thanks for stopping by. It's always great seeing you. Hope you had a good stream. All right. Now we're getting a little bit more soupy, baby. Let's get that flavor profile taste. Oh, yeah. Now it's a lot more garlicky. Perfect. Okay, so we're, we're just about there. Um, we're going to need to loosen it up a little bit more. I'm going to add just a little bit more chicken stock to that. We're going to blend this real quick. And then we're throwing it right back on the stove, the stove top. Let me wash out this uh, pot that has the cream on it. Get that cleaned off so we can get it reapplied. And we're going to cook this down when we get that grilled cheese made, guys, and we're ready to rock. we got a couple seasonings we're going to add to the soup when it's on the stove top as well. All right. Get our pot all cleaned up. Get that pot for the soup. So we're gonna blend the rest of this real quick, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the volume turned down real quick, guys. Give me a sec. We 
good, we good, we good. Nice soupy consistency. Cool. soup to feed the whole neighborhood. Give this a little rinse out real quick so it don't cake up on me. Hit 600 followers, Denver. Congratulations, my man. Very happy for you, dude. All right, so we got our soup thrown up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some jalapeno to it. So we're gonna fold our jalapeno into our soup. Now as I add it, I'm gonna be checking for flavor. just until we start to taste that jalapeno. And once we do, we'll let the flavors combine together. Fuck it, I'm just throwing all that in. No playing games. Let's just get the jalapeno thrown in there, huh? All right, so we got our jalapeno tossed in. Okay. Now, time to season up, guys. Gotta make sure the soup's nice and seasoned. Go ahead and hit it with some, some pepper. and garlicky so we're not going to add any garlic powder but I am going to add just a little bit of chili powder Season to taste with salt. This is coming together really nicely. All right. Oh yeah. A little more salt. That flavor is bomb diggity. soup chill out do its thing we're gonna get our uh, grilled cheese finally started guys let me wash this off all right let's get our grilled cheese crack a lacking let 
I'm gonna transfer this. Uh, we can leave it. We'll transfer it to the back. Get our grilled cheese pan on the front. So the thing with grilled cheese, guys, is you gotta start low and slow. You gotta start. You gotta start low and slow on the grilled cheese. Um, too many people try to make grilled cheeses too fast, and that's when you tend to burn the bread and not get enough meltiness on the inside. So it's very, very important that you start on a lower temp when you get going. Let that cheese really start to melt. Then you can crank up the heat and finish off the bread, right? A little hint. Oh yeah, plenty of leftover soup. Plenty. All right. Pan is heating up nicely. Go ahead and get our cheese down. Like I said, we don't slack on that cheese, baby. I'm gonna let that kind of go down, do its thing. Hey, Pop's coming through with a thousand biddies. Uh, ja Hazdaza, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for the biddies. Uh, this is going to look good. I'm excited for this. Very, very excited. to where the bread's kind of going but the cheese is still still chilling right we need to get that melted down and then we'll let the bread really start to go right the way you guys take a look at that I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock out two of these dishes real quick and then we'll catch up real quick with each other give me one set color of that soup is super vibrant um, the flavor guys is incredible right very carroty but you get that roasted garlic right off the bat um, and then now that we folded that jalapeno in there you get like a really nice um, aftertaste from that jalapeno freaking delicious so just make sure you're constantly giving the soup a stir Delicious, delicious. The cheese is starting to starting to warm up a little bit. The bread's still just chilling, doing its thing. There's no no color really taking place in the bread yet, right? We have it on a low enough temp to where the butter hasn't really started cooking. We're just letting that cheese kind of come down and melt. It's where we're at. Drinking wine straight out of the bottle. Damn right. And I'm going to go ahead and get these onions back over a low heat. Let them kind of warm up. And they're going to help the, the melting process with the grilled cheese. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to put together Kaylee's grilled cheese and her soup and everything. And we're gonna throw that back to her in the room. 
She can eat it, kind of explain to you guys how she's liking it while we get mine plated up for the last one. Lil Miss Cookies, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Holy cow, guys. We're just rolling up to almost 300 followers. Um, it's a super amazing. Thank you so much, all you newcomers tonight, for coming, following the channel. Thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Everyone, welcome Lil Miss Cookies in. Go ahead and welcome Ja. I, I don't know how to say your name. I'm going to call you Ja. Welcome Ja in as well. Where's Ja? Cheese is starting to get nice and melty over here, right? Here it's starting to heat up as well. So I keep just kind of checking to see how my bread's looking. So we're starting to get a little bit of color on our bread. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that around. It's a nice evening. All right, so we're getting a little bit more color on that side as well because that's where the direct flame is, right in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and flip it around. Even it out a little bit. Throw a little spray under there. All right, so now that the cheese is coming, it's almost about time to get our onion thrown down and on there. I'm gonna throw out for our garnish. Ugh. We're gonna do um, some fresh sliced jalapeno. Some fresh chopped jalapeno, some a little bit of paprika. We need to get. We need to go ahead and grab our bowl skis, our plate and our bowl. I'm gonna need a wine top. On. some hot water keep the bowl nice serve the soup up in it all right so cheese is getting nice and melty see how our bread's looking we're getting some good all right so now it's time guys let's go ahead we're gonna throw some of our French onion down on there. So, grab a little spoon to scrape this up. So we're gonna get some of our French onion. We're gonna apply down on our cheese. Like that. All right. Now, our grilled cheese is kind of going to do its thing. We got our cheese falling out. Oh, yeah. Perfect on the bread. Nice and melty. Oh yeah, baby, looking good, looking good. Let's go ahead and get our soup de jour served. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, ladle some of our soup to our bowl. So 
Our grilled cheese is probably just about done. Let it go a little on that side, and then it's time to cut. Now for the soup, we're going to go ahead, fan out some jalapeno. Got a little bunch of fresh cilantro. Okay, a little bit of paprika. I'm gonna grab the grilled cheese now, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna slice and dice. We're gonna get our other one thrown on there. So I'm gonna get my bread down, same deal. Bread down, cheese on real quick. Will you guys look at that? All right, all right. Let's get our grilled cheese chopped up. Oh my lord, look at that. Oh my god. So we're gonna go ahead. Let me get this out the way way. I don't need you anymore. We'll get you a good shot from the camera. All right. So here we got the grilled cheese. With the soup. I'm gonna snap a picture of this one because it looks like insane right now. Give me a sec guys. I gotta move a bunch of this shit out the way. And kinda. All right, I swallow. Thank you very, very much for the follow. I appreciate it. So here we got the French onion grilled cheese, guys our delicious soup. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hand this off to Kaylee, let her dig in. She's gonna let you guys know how it is on chat and we'll go ahead and plate up the other one for you guys, all right? And let you guys stare at that one. But boy, oh boy, does this look and smell amazing. And she demands more wine. <laughs> Go, babe. Let everyone in chat know how it is. Um, so welcome, I Swallow. Thank you very, very much for coming by. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a great night. Welcome, welcome. Everybody go ahead and welcome in, I Swallow. All right, so we're going to let this cheese get melty. Soup is coming together, still together very nicely. We got our onions nice and hot for our next sandwich. We're gonna let the same thing kind of go down now, right? We gotta let the cheese melt up. Once the cheese starts melting, it's all game from there. This one I'll have them separate for a second, and then you can kind of, uh, that's a nice little flare out right there. Um, and then I'll let you guys kind of take a better look at it separately. Not so crowded on the plate. Thanks all you newcomers. Thanks for all the follows, guys. Thanks for the bit. Thanks for the resubs. I appreciate it very, very much, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream tonight. I do appreciate it greatly. Um, you know, 
We appreciate the community's growth. It's super amazing. Wouldn't be here without you guys. We're already on episode 40 tonight. It's absolutely surreal to me. Can't even believe it still. So thanks again, guys, for all the, uh, the ongoing support. All right. Cheese is starting to get a little bit melty. Just, get, just about to get there. That soup, guys, I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys come through and make the soup. Um, go through the video, go through the steps. Pretty simple, but gosh, it's so delicious. If you like or into carrot, go ahead and, and get the get the soup going. I'm telling you. And am I even a fan of carrots? It's amazing, awesome, awesome. Good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa there. Uh, thank you, Denver. Thank you, thank you. I was trying to do it myself, but uh, thank you. Get that guy out of here. We don't tolerate that kind of talk in here, man. No cool. No bueno. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing I did before because the heat's kind of in the center uh, and the bread's kind of you know, cooking up more on that side. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it around, right? Same thing we just did before. Our cheese is getting nice and melty though. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna let this finish up guys. We're gonna get our onions on there. Get that cheese, help that cheese kind of melt down a little bit more. I'm going to scoop the onion up on the little bamboo serving utensil. Make sure we get it all on there. Okay. Get the uh, onion kind of spread out amongst the, the cheese. Make sure every square inch is covered. Come. Go ahead and get our top on. Got some great color going on here. We're gonna let our grilled cheese finish off. Oh my gosh, I got none of that on camera for you guys. I'm a fish. After you heat up the butter, you need to add the gasoline and lighter fluid. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, definitely don't do that. <laughs> so Kaylee, what's the word, girl? How you liking it? How you liking it? Oh my God, I'm in love. Good. Daisy, come on, baby. We're going to get you on here one last time, Missy, for everybody. It's hard to tear myself away just going around. <laughs> right. That's all you get. You've already had a lot of freaking, a lot of treats tonight, Missy. Don't look at me like that. She's looking at me like, wait, that's it? All right, guys. Grilled cheese is about done. I'm let you finish off on the Daisy can, and we're going to get to cutting. We are ready to rock and roll. Gosh, everything looks and smells so delicious. Hey, is you just chilling for everybody? You just chilling for everybody, sweetie? All right. Well done, my love. All right, guys. Let's plate up. Grilled cheese is done. Soup is ready. All right. Put the grilled cheese down. Let it cool. 
Let's get Supa. So, soup down. Let's go ahead and get it dolled up. Jalapeno down. Some fresh cilantro. It's a, a jalapeno, roasted jalapeno carrot soup. Okay, some fresh cilantro. Some paprika. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this down for you guys. You guys a little bit more of an in-depth uh, in-depth look here let me see what I can see what I can do here for you guys let's get this here there we go should be a little better We got the soup. We got our sandwich getting cut in half. Look at that. Absolutely phenomenal. Soup and the sandwich, right? The part that makes a spice spicy chili is the seeds, absolutely. Absolutely. folks and there we got it um, get that out of the way so uh, there it is guys we got our our caramelized delicious French onion grilled cheese with our smoked gruyere and our uh, gouda right served up with our roasted carrot and jalapeno soup awesome 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 uh, thank you so much again for stopping by tonight, guys. I appreciate it. Whole line, what's going on? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. Happy to see you. Happy to see you as always. Always happy to see you in here. All right, guys. So that's pretty much going to sum it up for tonight. We got the grilled cheese. We got our delicious soup made. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Uh, like I said, Gmo should be back um, next week. He's taking care of the pup. I will have him back next week, ready to rock. Um, I'm a fish. Thank you very much for stopping by, and thank you very much for the follow. Guys, we're two away from 300. We're almost there. Uh, pushing through to that 300 goal. Very excited. Thanks again for stopping by tonight, guys. I appreciate it. I promise when Garrett's back, we will be doing the after show again. It wouldn't be right doing it without him. Um, so I'll be back Tuesday night, guys, 7 p.m. See you guys here. Um, stay tuned on social media for a beautiful, high-quality picture of tonight's meal. Follow me on Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook. Follow the YouTube. Subscribe. 
Um, episodes will be uploaded later tonight. We got all past ep episodes on there for you guys. Thank you so much, all you newcomers, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for the new follows. Thanks for the resubs. And thanks for the bits, Kaylee and Pops. I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you so much, guys. Hope you, you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. We hit 40. It's a crazy milestone. I'm excited to see what we got by the time we hit another 40. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I'm going to go ahead and turn some music on and let you guys chop it up. Thanks so much for stopping by. Holine, thanks for making it at the end and saying hi. I appreciate it. You guys have a great rest of your night. I'll see you Tuesday, all right?